Right, okay, good morning everybody. Um, this is my ball review of the um, the current ball deal for the big rig tournament, which is the red wagon ball and the season 51 ball, which is um, possibly the best bundle that's ever been released, I believe, uh, really. Uh, really good bundle and if you spend money on this game I would definitely recommend spending money on these uh, whatever you can afford so the red wagon ball um, obviously very very useful power five with plus two needle stability and top spin boost of one so uh, wind resistance zero side spin five every one of those attributes really useful we often use uh side spin five or as much side spin as possible on you know the big hook and slice shots just to try and um sort of cling on to the last bit of fairway if it's um i can think of a few holes that you do need that extra side spin maybe something like three top spin um and, and five left spin or something like that on a uh, on a hook shot um yeah, so that's that's really useful with it being side spin five. Um, obviously for the send it shots, needle sp stability two is is pretty much standard. Two or three is standard for these types of balls, but the top spin boost one, really useful um, for apocalypse level seven, and um, and eight, but also for like five and six to try and boost you up to. Because uh, I mean we we tend to. On, on the shots that I recommend we tend to go with sort of seven top spin if possible so that uh, Apocalypse 6 can replicate but now that they've released this ball I'd be happy to go with eight top spin in the guides um, which is maximum top spin for Apocalypse 7 and 8 um, so it'd be good to um, it'd be good to get if you Apocalypse level 6 uh, it's a really good ball really useful but this one's a little bit better for me. Totally different type of ball. Um, this is a wind resist ball. Uh, power two, side spin three, wind resistance five. It's absolutely fantastic. Uh, with no boost attributes, which is good. Um, the, obviously boost, top spin and back spin is really good. Um, but it's good to have a ball with no boost attributes so that when you're doing ball switches and whatever, doesn't mess with the spins because there is a game glitch um, that, that adds spins I don't think we've had a power to win five for quite a while now um, I think the last one god I can't even think but obviously the pre precision four is, is such a good attribute and it's going to change the way that we approach a lot of holes now at the minute we're going for uh, sort of you know overpower drives to get to like um long iron or uh short iron range and it now gives you the option to use that sniper um at like minimum distance which is a really uh good shot to dial in if um i mean <laughs> You know, if you can hit perfect, and when you've got this precision attribute, it becomes very, very easy to hit perfect. So you can play at minimum or maximum club distance, and it doesn't make a difference. Um, you know, on the on the wood clubs, which are which are generally very difficult to hit perfect. Um, but what it also does, which we've never had on a precision ball before, a win five precision ball, is you've got that range of plus yards, and it's it's plus two which is five percent uh distance so on 172 yard sniper you get about nine yards eight, eight or nine yards um of plus yards to work with to to dial your slider in so the precision and the power two makes this an absolute winner uh, it's going to change the way that i approach some holes and um, I would recommend buying as many of these particular balls as you can afford. So I hope you find that helpful. Um, don't just spend your money because I told you.
factor, but if you're going to spend money on this game anyway, definitely spend your money on these balls. Okay, cheers.